A normocytic anemia consists of a low blood cell count, measured by hemoglobin and hematocrit. However, unlike the previous anemias, these next few anemic states are characterized by a small number of normal-sized RBCs, which means an MCV between 80 and 100. This can be caused by a process known as hemolysis. And in this scene, we'll illustrate a few RBC disorders that involve hemolysis by the spleen specifically, an organ that just loves to eat any red blood cell that it deems imperfect. This process is called extravascular hemolysis. Ooh, you see that sky? In case you can't tell, we're smack dab in the middle of Tornado Alley. This region of the U.S., between the Appalachians and Rockies, is where cold air blowing east over the Rockies crosses warm air moving north from the Gulf. This clash of currents leads to twisting systems with a central upward draft, eventually forming storm cells that can rotate at several hundred miles per hour. And while they're known for destruction of homes and crop fields and Bill Paxton's, in this scene, this twister is gobbling up red blood cells like a hungry spleen. Normal red blood cells have a lifespan of 120 days, when they get old and worn out, the spleen absorbs and destroys them. If red blood cells have defects that damage their membranes, however, they wear out and get cleared much more quickly. This process is called extravascular hemolysis because red blood cell destruction occurs in the spleen instead of in the blood vessels. As damaged, deformed RBCs circulate through the spleen, they get trapped in narrow corridors called the cords of Billroth. These cords are kind of like these slats in the fence. While normal RBCs can contort and squeeze through the narrow lining of these hallways, damaged cells can't do so. That's why we've shown the normal-looking tomatoes sneaking through while the malformed ones get caught on the fence. Once the cell gets stuck, it's cleared by splenic macrophages, represented by the macro cage that's gathering debris. These macrophages are a part of the reticuloendothelial system and monitor the blood for damaged or misshapen cells. These macrophages either gobble up whole RBCs or just bite off parts of defective RBC membranes. Because the RBC is contained in the macrophage and the digestion occurs intracellularly, the hemoglobin inside these RBCs is sequestered and doesn't enter the blood. Therefore, in contrast to intravascular hemolysis, extravascular hemolysis is not associated with hemoglobinemia or hemoglobinuria. See how the hemoglobin hubcap stays sequestered inside the macrocage? That doesn't mean hemoglobin doesn't come back to bite you, though. Recall from our Billy Rubin Billy Goat sketch in the GI unit that digested heme in the spleen is converted to unconjugated bilirubin. At Sketchy, conjugated bilirubin is depicted by a billy goat attached with a leash and collar. Unconjugated, then, is an uncolored billy goat, 